Hi, it's Ms. Barnacle, and this new module is on finding factors of numbers. And first, we have to understand what factors are. The word factor means to break down. It's the product, okay, in multiplication. You know the word product, and that's from the multiplication module. Um, factors would be the numbers that multiply together to give you that product. And on the screen, there are a few examples. Um, talking about factors of 12 and we're going to work on the factors of 48. So remember what you're looking for and those would be numbers that multiply together to give you 48. Um, if for some reason you don't automatically know numbers that multiply together to give you 48, there are a few rules that you can use just to kind of give you some hints. And those rules start with whole numbers. Whole numbers that are divisible by two would be numbers that end in an even digit, such as zero, two, four, six, eight. All of those digits are even, so if the number ends in one of those, two will automatically divide into it an even number of times. Um, with three, if you add all the digits in the number together and you can divide that sum or that answer by three, then you can divide the whole number by three. Four is a little tricky. Um, it only works if the last two digits of the number are divisible by four, then the whole thing is divisible by four. Five is one of the easiest ones. It ends in a five or a zero. Five divides into it. Um, six works if two and three divide into it because two times three is six. Eight is similar to four. If three, the last three digits of a number, it would have to be a big number for you to understand, but if eight divides into those last three digits, it will divide into the whole number. Nine is just like three. If you add all the digits and you can divide by nine, then you can divide the whole thing by nine. And 10 is one of the easiest. If it ends in zero, 10 divides into it. Those are just some rules to help you, but again, they are all online so that you can download them and use them. Okay, right now we are going to work on factors of 128 and the number 48 up here on the board. So when we do this, we ask ourselves, all right, this number 48 ends in the digit eight. And one of the divisibility rules says, if it ends in zero, two, four, six, eight, then two divides into it. So that would mean this is one times 48, because one times anything will always give you that number. It is an even number, so two divides into it automatically, and two divides into four two times, and two divides into eight four times. So two times 24 makes 48. Then you use your rules for three. Four plus eight is 12. Well, since three divides evenly into the number 12, three will divide evenly into the number 48. And it divides in there one 16 times. And then four. Four times 12 gives me 48. And then you look at the digit and you say, okay, well, will five divide into it? It doesn't end in five or zero, so the answer is no. Then six, two divides into it, and three divides into it. So according to the rule, so does six. So that would mean six times what gives me 48? Six times eight. And then when you get this close together, notice seven, there's no way seven's going in there. Eight, we know eight divides in there six times because we just said six times eight's 48. Um, nine, when you add these digits together, you get 12, and nine doesn't divide into 12 an even number of times, so nine is out. 10, 10, it has to end in a zero, and it doesn't. 11 won't go in there. 12 we've already got, and so on. So when you get down to naming factors and you have two that are super close together, most of the time you're done at that point. So let's go on and do 128. I'm going to show you another way to do this, and that is to list them like a factor tree, okay? Again, it ends in eight, which is an even number, so let's say two. 
So if you need to do scratch work, you can do it like over to the side and say how many times does 2 divide into 128? So 2 divides into 12 6 times, which makes 12. Bring down the next number. 2 divides into 8 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8, so 2 divides in there 64 times. Okay, so 2 times 64 will give me that. Okay, um, that could just be another way to help you in case you don't automatically know what goes in there. Um, then you ask yourself, well, does 3 divide in there? 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So that means 3 doesn't go in there because 3 doesn't divide into 11. You also have 1 times 128. That's an automatic given. Um, 3 doesn't go into it. 4. Does 4 divide into 28? Yes, it does. So 4 times, how many times does that go in there? Well, 4 divides into 12 3 times. And then 4 divides into 8 2 times. It doesn't end in 5 or 0, so 5 won't go in there. 10 won't go in there. And since that adds up to 11, 9 won't go in there either. And you will notice 2 divided in there, but not 3, so that means 6 won't go in there. So we're running out of options. Um, for 8, you would have to actually, since there's only 3 digits, do the division. So let's do that. 8 divides into 12 one time. That leaves 4. Bring down the next number. 8 divides into 48 six times, which makes 48. So 8 actually does divide into um, 128 16 times. So that means that 8 times 16 is 48. We said 9 and 10 don't go in there. 11, 12, 12 won't go in there. So this is pretty much all of the factors that we can find that give us 128. Now, no matter how small or how large the number is, you can always use those divisibility rules to give you an example on how to find factors of numbers.